This is the 775DC motor with shaft diameter of approximately 5mm and has the rated voltage of 24 volts and the maximum voltage is 36 volts. The rated speed of the 775 motor is from 3500 to 7000 RPM revolutions per minute. This RPM depends on the supplied voltage. A 12 volt DC current is 0.14 ampere and speed is 3500 rpm 818 volt dc current is 0.15 ampere and speed is 4500 rpm 824 volt dc current is 0.16 ampere and speed is 7000 rpm unlike other dc motors the 775 motor has got these two wires and when connected with desired voltage, the shaft starts spinning. The direction of rotation can be controlled by swapping the voltage wires. Now things get a little complicated when it comes to controlling the speed of 775 DC motor because in market we have different types of low cost and expensive motor drivers offering low and high current ratings. This is a 320 ampere DC 7.2 volt to 16 volts brushed AC DC motor speed controller designed for e-bikes, RC cars, trucks and boats etc. We have two types of ACs. These types of ACs are used to control brushless DC motors while this one is used to control the speed and direction of brushed DC motors. So if you want to control your DC motor using a wireless transmitter and receiver then you need to purchase this high ampere brushed AC DC motor speed controller. This motor driver is also provided with a button. The wires were removed when I received this module but anyways I short the two wires and now this module will remain on until I remove the power supply. On the top you can see this light blue color aluminum heatsink and this small cooling fan. The yellow and blue color wires are the output wires and are connected with the DC motor. The red and black wires with a XT60 type connector are the input voltage wires. With the help of this it can be easily connected with the LiPo batteries. These three wires are connected with the controller board like Arduino or a wireless receiver. The yellow wire is the signal wire. With this wire we send the PWM signal from our controller board to control the speed and direction of the 775 DC motor. The red wire is the 5 volt wire and it is used to power up the controller board or wireless receiver and the brown wire is the ground wire. On this side you can see we have these two switches on the top and bottom side. These switches are used to program the motor driver. The button on the top side is used to select the operation mode. It's a three position switch and you can select any of these three modes FBR which is bi-directional mode, FB which is the unidirectional mode and FR which is the climbing mode. The default value is bi-directional. If you want to know more about these modes then read my article. I will provide a link in the description. For this video, I will continue with the default mode that is FPR. The switch on the bottom side is a two position switch and is used to select the type of battery. The default position is set to the LiPo battery. Now let's go ahead and start the interfacing. I'm going to use the FlySky FSI6 receiver with the motor driver and then we will use the FlySky transmitter to control the forward and reverse movement of the 775 motor. Connect the two wires of the 775 DC motor with the two output wires of the 320 ampere brushed ESC DC motor speed controller and the polarity doesn't matter. Now connect the control signal wires with the receiver channel 3 which is the throttle channel. Make sure the signal wire 5 volt wire and ground wire connects with the exact pins on the receiver. So that's all about the connections. Now we will connect the LiPo battery and then we are good to go. First we are going to control the 775 motor in the forward direction. 
To increase the speed, simply move the throttle stick in the forward direction and to slowly stop the motor, move the stick in the downward direction. You can also apply brake if you quickly move the throttle stick in the reverse direction. When the throttle stick is in the middle position, the motor simply stops. So you can use the upper part of the throttle stick for the forward movement and speed control and the lower part of the throttle stick is used to apply the brake and control the speed of the DC motor in the reverse direction. You cannot quickly change the direction of rotation of the DC motor. First you will have to stop the motor and then you can slowly move the stick in the reverse direction. This will change the direction of the DC motor. You can also try the other two modes, the FB and FR. So if you are planning to wirelessly control your RC plane, car, boat, etc. using 775 DC motor or any other DC motor, then this is how you can do it.